Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Strifium and we are here for Bahrain once again. It is now the tier 3 division for the highlights and well this was a very very hard race to go through because this was an absolute thriller. As the lights come on here in Bahrain, Unicorn take us away. Well we've got four five red lights here on in Bahrain. It's the third time this week the engines are revving. And the lights are out. It's the Red Bull getting a great start, but Crampy behind him has got an even better one. He instantly gets past Epic. His teammate has had such an unfortunate, a completely different start. He is dropping like a stone, managing to break late and stay in third. Epic dropping to yet another Williams here. He's got the Ferrari. The, the Alfa Romeo, sorry, of Cotters behind him, battling for fifth there with Seema. We've got Dark Jose Manuel side by side. Dark getting up into that seventh place. There's Seema on the inside of Cotters gets past. The Alfa Romeo for fifth and Dark is looking to see if he could take advantage of the situation opening there. The medium runners, David Antonio, jabs him already up into the top. It's a terrible start for driver DMV who drops to 16th place in the Alpine. And now they're having an exchange as Dan. It's wheel to wheel through turn three. Dan on the inside and Antonio pushing well out on the exit. Dan's still there. Dan pushing with the softs on the inside now of turn four will take 10th position can he hold it david antonio very tight to the rear now of the aston martin and there's been an issue there's been an alfa romeo he's gone into the wall it's cotters drs on the run and do 11 wisp might not be able to hold on to this yeah great late on the brakes there for the has puts him side by side as they come through 11 now on the outside of 12. it's gonna be driver dmb going around the alfa romeo it's a brilliant move we saw a similar one yesterday in the corner after it and driver just able to hold whisper bay there if someone makes a mistake there will be someone there to pick up the pieces rackety on the inside of turn 11 Bacario says i'm gonna hold this with everything i've got driver says rackety you need to make these things stick or I'm going to come right around the outside at 13. He's still fronts to rears. Does he have the power? Driver DNB and Rackety. This fight has been waging for laps on laps in this race. We're only on lap five. But this has been the entirety of this race. These guys have been fighting in the midfield. And Driver now has made his way on his starting softs back into the top 10. What a monstrous charge. He's going to lose out to Maka. And he might lose out to the Ferrari of Epic as well. His teammate spun through touch off. And it's very late, late on the break for the Scuderia. And it's a bit too late on the break as he spins around through turn four. It's the one but two Ferrari spinning. In just quick succession, they are both now out of the point 15 to 17. Things wavy now, under threat, the McLaren Sema. It's a position change for these two as he moves through into third position ahead of wavy. A little bit of desync potential there. Dan and David Antonio, well, we've been seeing that position exchange lap after lap as well as they have been caught in an everlasting duel. Look at this, Dan holding David here on the outside right now. As we come into turn four ahead of the McLaren. The position. Driver DMB as well. Who's going to lose track? Oh, no, driver. Ball. That is not what you want to be doing in the Alpine, even Falling remotely. It's been a crash ahead as well. David Antonio and Dan have come off together in turn 12. Oh, rear wing. Artex pushing back with the DRS into turn four. And we have a battle for the lead in the first stint, ladies and gentlemen. On Alpha Tauri. Had the Wavy, hold record, the phone right? on the inside. Sorry to interrupt you, Unicorn of 14 and 15, looking to push Seema. And Wavy's going to shoot into the pit lane. Where's Seema? He's outside, and there's Dark as well. So Wavy is the first of the top five soft runners here to pull the trigger. Well, three through six, and of course, Rackety on the inside of Bacario looking for it. Wisp has the front row seat. Bacario is going to have the inside here for two. Rackety holding well. A little bit of a shove. Bacario, no. He's into the gravel trap. And there's been an, a little bit of a snap for the Haas. Wisp now looking into turn four on the outside of the Haas. Look at the traction here. Does he have enough power? Does he have what he needs? Look at this. Alfa Romeo charged through turns five and six. There's contact. Rackety's round in the Haas. At this sort of level, you know, competitively, it's been a long offseason. Who's this driver? Oh, DMB no. Well, Drags that's where we've seen it. Eight. Turn eight and oh, my God. George, the safety car has been deployed. Well, now, what do you do if you're in the top four? You have to come in for hearts, I think. Artex up here. He's waiting. 
He knows, noticed that Sawase was ready, and what a restart that is. He's got him off guard so much. And Dark already getting past Seema. That was before the line. We'll see whether that allows him. And Maka, they're three wide and ahead of them. It's three wide as well, down into turn one. Wavy's looking to make it a Williams one, two. Tawas takes a little bit of wheel banging between the two. And Wavy's just about got the Red Bull. It's one, two for Williams and the Alpine of Gabdium. What a restart for the man on the hards. You wouldn't expect that traction out of turn three, but he's going to take it around the outside of four. The hards will let him down here, but Dark's on the inside. It's three wide here again. Dark has to back out the Alpine though. Still there, being brave, but Artex gets back through for P3 behind them. Wisp looking to make early positions on these offs, but it's a huge lunge from Dan, and it hasn't worked out for the Aston Martin, who there's loses. There's a crash. The and there's a big pile-up. There's a big oh pile my. Of Vicario across the road. Battery and full utilization here. No DRS needed for the Haas. He is going to blow ahead of that Ferrari. But Cotters hasn't had the greatest, you know, start to this season and that's oh not the way to that either. is End not the good wall. and that he's just tied on track there lap after lap artex now seems to have found something on the time oh! this late stage. maybe a little bit meta management a bit of a late move there i don't know what happened between john and dark but it looked like john went to take the turn dark went inside there was a tap john went round got recovered dan is back here as well last lap of the race lap 29 of 29 they've crossed onto it the leaders and crampy it's going for it into turn one. We've seen this time after time in this race between just these two drivers alone. But we've also seen Artex come back into turn four. Does Crampy have enough? He's got 8% advantage on the ERS to hold him off into turn four and for the whole lap as well. In there's 15. Crampy still ahead. Artex will have DRS for the line. It's going to be close. Crampy's leading and he's going to get the win here. Artex. It was so close to being a Grand Slam. Wisp took past this lap. And in the last lap, Crampy takes the win from under him as well. Wavy gets third and he keeps the podium. It's the third race. It's the third double podium. It's the third different constructor to get it. It was Ferrari with the 1-3. It was Alfa Romeo with the 1-2. And now it's Williams with the 1-3. What a race it was here for Tier 3. Unbelievable. So many battles, so many overtakes, such intensity. And of course, Unicorn and I loved all of it. And we'll see you next week for the next race for the Tier 3 division and for the rest of the races this week as well. We hope you enjoy Bahrain.